right. Keep just keep watching up behind me on that ledge. Let's focus it. I think I've got the right spot. Hold, hold on. Yeah. Ah. He's just there. Ah, you see? That was a quick glimpse there. Ah. Okay. No, he's not there. Oh, sorry about that. He was, he was doing. A, oh, there he is. Okay, let's. <laughs> there. Ah, well, at least we've got a shot of of one. Let me just let's keep it up there. I think I was a bit loud there, and I was talking. Um, Oh, at last, he's coming out. Been waiting here for about... Uh, oh, he's going, uh, going back in. Ah, he's got my... Look. Right, look at this. Hold on. My, my, my sandwich. <laughs> very, very tempted to, to go and get that from him. Probably won't even like um, tuna mayonnaise. So I thought I'd just show this off. This is quite a rarity. The Morsu don't tend to, to do any rock carving. I think their ancestors made a lot more effort than the current generation who just stick snails and things around to make attractive patterns, but nothing, nothing like this. This was obviously quite a lot of work. And obviously that's the main entrance there. And those nice little staircase things, which they don't really need. I mean, they're quite capable of clambering over the rocks, but I think it's really just to look impressive. And I quite like this figure here, which is quite elaborately done. And these patterns there, I, I don't know if there's any um, sort of hieroglyphic meaning to them. They remind me of um, a little bit of uh, the sort of... Um, Aboriginal patterns of um, Australia in a way. There's another smaller entrance here, less impressive. But um, yeah, I've been up here many times, but I've never seen them actually use this. So I presume they come here some. I, maybe it has some spiritual or you know some some sort of uh, special religious meaning to them. I don't know. Try and work out what it means. <laughs> There's one just up here. See him? Just that's it. Just there. Ah, oh, he's gesturing to somebody. Let's just take a look around. Where is he? He's up here somewhere. There he is. There he is. Gesturing back again. <laughs> what are they doing? Where's he gone? He's gone. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's going as well. Nobody else around. Anyone else? Oh. He's been trying to hurl these across to his accomplice on the other side. And if I just move the camera across, you'll be able to see just there. <laughs> he's gesturing back to him and saying, come on, throw another one. I don't know if this is a game, or it could be some sort of ritual, but whatever it is, it doesn't appear to be very successful. He's throwing another one there. It looks as though he's going to go for another one as well. This chap on the ground here, it seems as his, his job is to collect any which don't make it across, which has been 100% so far. Here he goes, underarm technique. 
turning across and again <laughs> it didn't get there so it probably just fell just all the way down here and oh he's caught it well, that's unusual he hasn't that's the first one that he's caught you know it's very interesting behavior and as i say it could be related to could it be some sort of ritual who knows not sure now i've come here and i've stood here and now i, I can't see the thing <laughs> but around the front there you can see that face just sort of around there and it looks as though that it's carved but it's not the actual tree has has grown into that shape it's not a magic tree or anything well depending on what your perception of what magic is um <clears throat> but um how it works is that they rub little compounds when the tree's growing into the bark and it forms sort of tumor shapes and by controlling that you can get these sort of sculptural like forms let me just get down and see if i can oh, oops ah. Uh, it's not the best angle here either, to be honest, right beneath it. But you can see there that that facial form has actually been made, uh, it's grown into that shape rather than being a, a, a carved shape. So that's one thing they do and that's a, it's like a lot of their activities is based around evil spirits and that sort of thing. So that's what that's all about trying to keep them away. Oh! Oop, so that's a bit more successful. 